On today's van life, stealth camping, food adventure, I jump into our minivan camper and travel out to Kitchener, Waterloo to live at Chick-fil-A for the next 24 hours. We'll be eating delicious dinners, savory snacks, and yummy lunches. We'll also be trying to keep warm with our little buddy heater and electric blanket. I'll take a couple side trips to stock up on fuel for the heater and also head over to Mac to buy a bunch of hand warmers for an upcoming video. If this van life food adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. All right, guys, here we are. We're going to be living 24 hours at Chick-fil-A. Let's do it. Hey, guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be spending 24 hours here at Chick-fil-A in Kitchener, Waterloo. And... Uh, we're going to eat tons of food, sleep here somewhere in the parking lot, and enjoy ourselves like we normally do. The problem will be what to order, what to order. So many things on this menu. Last time I had Chick-fil-A is when I uh, invited my buddies downtown Toronto and we ate the whole menu and we just divided it up between four of us. And uh, I don't think there was a thing in there that I didn't enjoy. So this is just going to be a win-win-win situation. Hello, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Can I get a name for the order? Uh, Ken. Sorry, Jen? Ken, as in Barbie. Gotcha. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what can I get started for you today? I am definitely going to be trying that spicy deluxe meal, please. Spicy deluxe meal, of course. And the beverage for yourself? Uh, the beverage. Can I do a, a strawberry milkshake, please? Of, of course. Excellent. And any sauce for yourself? I guess the sauce would be for the, the fries or? And the sandwich. We don't put any sauces on our sandwiches. Right. What's your spicy sauce? Our spicy sauce, we got sweet and spicy buffalo or we have sweet and spicy sriracha. Uh, let's do the sriracha, please. The sriracha, it's like a Thai sauce. It's really good. Awesome. Perfect. And will that be all for today? That will be, thank you. All right, then you can just drive on up to the window. Fantastic. All right, she is very happy. Very happy here in Kitchener, Waterloo. I like it when they're helpful like that because, again, I haven't eaten in here in a very long time. And the fact that she's just going to help you out and saying this sauce is better than this sauce and and uh, give you an idea what it's going to taste like. Very helpful. The line seems to be moving pretty quickly. They actually have a door here and a guy comes out of the door. You swipe your card and then he brings the food to you. So it's not a your typical window situation. Drive through window, it's a drive through door. All right, guys, we are next. Super stoked and happy. Hello. 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 Yes. That is 1576. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right, guys, let's park it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. All right, guys, we are parked. First off, definitely the jacket is coming off. Let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, we got our placemat, which I'm super happy about. Oh boy, oh boy. So that came to $15.76. We've got multiple bags of stuff. I'm not sure what's in there yet. We've got our fries, we got our Chick-fil-A sandwich. As soon as I saw the, the word spicy, I'm like, that's the one I want. Oh my goodness, this late lunch, early dinner looks fantastic. Of course, I had to go for one of their amazing milkshakes. I want strawberry, so I usually do chocolate, so I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Over here, we got our waffle cut fries and then our beautiful spicy chicken sandwich, spicy deluxe, I believe it is. Look at that beautiful shiny bun, fresh test, nice. We got some cheese. We got that beautiful spicy chicken breast. Oh, we got some tomato, full leaf lettuce, three uh, tomatoes it looks like. And then she gave me three sauces. So I guess we'll be putting those sauces on first. And guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this smells amazing. Let's eat. First up, let's do some of the strawberry milkshake. Show the logo. Mm, 
Oh yeah. That test tastes like fresh strawberries. Like you made it at home. We've got a cherry. We've got to eat that cherry first. Can you tie a knot in that with your tongue? I can't. Mmm. Got some whipped cream. I'm gonna mix that in with that later on. Let's look at the size of that fry. Oh yeah. Nice and warm. Nice and salty. Mmm. That is so good. If you live in Kitchener and you've been here before, tell me what's up with the um, the overhead thing above the ordering area. Is that because sometimes they have people standing there and it might be raining or something? I've never seen that before. It looks like you can go in. So maybe later on we'll do a snack. Because this is all I'm going to eat today unless we do a little snack. We'll go in and check out what, what it looks like inside. So I've been to the Chick-fil-A downtown Toronto on Young Street. Now I've been to this one. I've been to several in the States. Uh... The one that I went to, maybe it's three years ago now, holy smokes. I think it, I had to go to uh, Buffalo. They opened up one in Buffalo and there was a huge lineup. Yeah, it must have been two years ago. I can't remember the reason why I went to Buffalo. I think that was because that was the closest one to where, where I lived. So I had to, but I had to go to Buffalo to, to go to it. I'm gonna pour these into the other part, save some room on my place mat here. All right, let's go uh, sweet. Oh, let me just lift up the sandwich for a second. I'm so excited, I'm like freaking out. All right, so, oh, there's two pickles on the bottom. I'm gonna separate them a little bit so that hopefully I'll get pickle on each bite. I wish they put three on there, Chick-fil-A Canada. Look, there's room for one more so every bite would get some pickle action. Let me know if you're gonna do it or not. <laughs> that would be. I'm just giving you some cool feedback from uh, an admirer. Okay, we're gonna lift this top off. Again, it's a nicely toasted top and bottom bun. I'm not sure exactly which cheese that is. All right, so let's do this sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. She said something about Thai. So I think she said it's like a Thai sauce. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like a Thai sauce. Okay, this lid's not coming off very smoothly. Look at that, here we go. Oh yeah, should I put the whole thing on? Why not, right? It's a lot though. It's like jam. All right, there we go. I don't know why she gave me three. We won't ask for any more, because that's just a lot. Okay, hopefully this top bun will soak up some of that. Hey, check that out. Is that a thing of beauty or what? Nice, down the hatch. Mm-hmm. Wow. I didn't bite hard enough. I didn't break that pickle down. The whole thing came out one shot. Ooh la la. That is a fantastic chicken sandwich. It's definitely a sweet and spicy sauce that's on there. And that's um, dripping tomato juice, I think. Mmm. That chicken is moist, juicy, crunchy on the edges. Mm hmm. My biggest disappointment about this Chick fil A is they don't do breakfast that I know of. They, they open at 10, I think they close at 10. Uh, they're not open Sundays like all the other ones, but they don't do breakfast. So I'm gonna have to probably go down to the States uh, when we can freely go down to the States after all this mayhem is gone and do another living at Chick-fil-A for 24 hours with the whole breakfast menu on tap. This looks like a very busy area. Um, we've got the Chick-fil-A, uh, Canadian Tire Store, and then there's a huge Cineplex uh, movie theater here. So uh, I think it's gonna be probably a noisy, busy night here. I think I picked the right sauce for sure. I'm pretty sure the chicken spicy and the sauce, so it's a double whammy to the taste buds. Oh, it is so good. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am loving this spicy deluxe chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A so much, I'm gonna have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all you lovely men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This last bite is just for you. Mmm. Gotta mix in that whipped cream. It just makes it even creamier. Oh yeah. Few more fries and we're all done. Mmm. Ah, all done. All right, next thing, my wife just got me that. I talked to her about a boot tray, but she says, we have one of these and you can roll it up and slide under the bed or whatever. So I like this idea, thank you very much. And then she also asked, uh, told me I should bring this crappy towel just in case we uh, need to wipe up a mess. So let's shut this door. It's a bit early to set up the stealth camper. And again, it's not cold enough in here to get the uh, heater going either. It seems you guys are really enjoying the stealth camping and van life adventures. And uh, so if you wanted to show your support just even more than you already are, you could also become a channel member and we do a weekly live stream every single Wednesday between four and five. It's strictly only for channel members only to show my support back to them. Uh, also, if you wanna show your support, uh, you can pick up some of my merch. Uh, we have pint glasses, this is Van Life KBD Productions TV on there. I know a few of you have already bought them, which is great. Thank you very much. We also have a mug, nice coffee mug. I'll be using that on some of our camping adventures for sure. And we also have stickers and also have clothing. So uh, again, if you want to show your support and uh, one of your friends loves the camp life stuff and uh, you want to get them something for their birthday, Christmas, whatever, uh, check out my merch store. There should be a link in every single video and every and on my channel. So again, I appreciate all your support guys on those things. I also bought some uh, more batteries. Just got these uh, from Amazon today. Uh, there's a link in the description uh, below. So now I've got seven batteries all together. When I bought my first set, it only came with two batteries and this container and the cable. Uh, and of course the GoPro had one battery when I bought it. So it was perfect. You put the one from the GoPro in there, whoops. Uh, put the one battery from the GoPro in there. Uh, and then I had the two, so everything was great. I had battery one, two, and three. Uh, but now they sell them with three batteries and I just bought another GoPro to help me shoot more things. Uh, I need like a B-roll GoPro and the, uh, I guess the food, let's say, let's call it the driving GoPro camera, which is usually mounted to the steering wheel or to the uh, windshield. So now I've got uh, eight batteries and two GoPros and two chargers. So we're good to go. Uh, hopefully that never happens again, like it did in the last one. I missed out on a couple shots. Not sure if you guys noticed, but uh, tonight we'll be getting the, the, um, what's it called? The, the night lapse shot, which is the shot I like to do while I'm, uh, as I'm going to bed. And uh, like right now I'm using my iPhone, which it comes in handy for sure in these quick little situations. Oh, I put one of my stickers on that bottle and uh, that's a great spot to hang my cup. It's out of the way, it won't get broke unless I smack it with my head. But uh, the lineup is never ending. It's been like that for the last hour, hour and a half. So uh, I'm definitely gonna do a time lapse of that later on. Again, this will go on probably later on tonight for a little bit, but again, I don't um, have that on while I'm sleeping. And the other thing too, is a lot of people asked about an O2. So I have my uh, my sensor down here. I just thought it was a good place to put it uh, at the moment. I guess I could probably mount it to the back of the chair. That would probably be a great spot for it because I don't know where else to mount it. Maybe, maybe just above my head and uh, like above there, and that way it doesn't get bonked. That's what I'm worried about is it's getting knocked off. 
Um, I could also probably put it there, but uh, we'll put it somewhere. But again, at the moment, like maybe I'll just put it there while I'm while I'm sleeping. That'll help keep me safe. A few of you guys have asked in uh, past videos, where do you go to the washroom when you're uh, sleeping over in these places 24 hour? Well, usually I'm, I'm right by the restaurant, so I can go in if I need to. Uh, when the restaurant closes at night, I've got two pee bottles in here and uh, just in case. Um, and I never usually have to do number two in the middle of the night. So I'm usually fine with that. I'm a morning person. How about you? figure that we're so close to uh, Canadian Tire, like we could zip over there and grab some more fuel tanks because uh, I don't have time to uh, refill the ones I have, the empties. So I want to have make sure I have a backup supply. Back to Chick-fil-A. So the lineup now goes all along there. It's double lineup. And then across this laneway that goes this way. And then that's all the cars, all the cars, all the cars, all the way to there. That's the last car of that lineup. Man, people love their Chick-fil-A, eh? Well, it's that time again to get the heater going. There, you can see the starting to go red. It was blue for a bit. Now we can kick back, relax, watch a little TV or a movie. Then we'll go back into Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna do a walk-in when we go back. It's around 8 o'clock and uh, the lineup inside has gone down considerably. So I, I did go in, use their facilities. And uh, while I was in there, I just checked their board. And uh, they have uh, like chicken nugget type things that we could try. And uh, that'll be our snack for this evening. Hello. Hi, can I get a uh, Ken? Ken? Chicken nuggets, I guess uh I guess you have like eight nuggets? Yeah, we have like as a meal? No, I just want to get the nuggets. Oh we have like five, eight, twelve, and a third. Can we do five? Five? What's your favorite sauce here? Um Chick-fil-A sauce. The Chick-fil-A sauce? Okay, I'll do one of those. And what is the, the drink on the far right? Let's do that. Sweet tea and lemonade. Right, this is uh, medium or large? Uh, let's do medium. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, let's eat. We are in full stealth mode. I got all my stealth windows up. I got my blanket across the seats. Hopefully nobody can see in. Right, so we've got these little, this little thing of nuggets. I didn't know they were that small. Wow. Very, very tiny Chick-fil-A nuggets. And she said the Chick-fil-A sauce is the best. Hmm. We will see about that. So let's just put that right there. So this is the Chick-fil-A sauce. So we did the Sun Joy drink. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Sun Joy drink. Did you say lemonade and something? 
it is you can really taste that lemonade for sure hmm that would be really refreshing on a hot summer's eve the nuggets smell fantastic by the way and they were really efficient in there they were like everybody had their job and they're just doing it perfectly so way to go chick-fil-a kitchener i also just realized that we're right by the uh the jersey mics that i did a video at the one and only video i've done so there's our nugget Let's dip it into the sauce. Mmm. Wow. Very zesty. Has that mayo kind of flavor to it. Of course, texture. Oh, these nuggets are wonderful, man. Very nice and savory. The chicken is fresh, delicious. Oh my goodness. I picked a winner as a nighttime snack. Mmm. So they open at 10. They do have coffee in there. So I think I can wait till 10. And we'll go in there and grab our Chick fil A breakfast. So we get to sleep in tomorrow. I'm looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow. Like heavy on the sauce, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> they counted that as one. It's half the size of the other ones. Mmm. She was right. The Chick-fil-A sauce is dynamite. So I'm gonna pack this all up, guys. Brush my teeth. This is a good napkin still. We'll put that down there. Uh, then I'm going to watch a bit of a movie. And then I'm going to hit the hay. So thanks for hanging out with me today. And we'll see you in the morning. Ciao. so nice and warm inside here for sure uh, I'm not sure I plugged my uh, electric blanket into the smaller Jackery last night just to see and uh, it drained it <laughs> totally and I and I didn't uh, I'm not sure when I plugged it in it's probably around uh, I don't know three o'clock or something I don't know but it took out my my mini Jackery anyway uh, it is zero degrees in here and it's minus seven degrees outside somebody mentioned in a comment uh about plugging my jackery into the car and i do have a cable already plugged in to a cigarette lighter that comes out to the back of that seat and so today when i'm driving around i'm going to plug this jackery into that system and so the car alternator will get it going again i'm gonna plug it in now and then uh when i turn the car on it will start to charge it too but i've got the the big one too so i'm good there and uh i guess first stop <laughs> i had a great sleep i'm like where is this there it is okay i had a very good sleep last night it was uh, actually nice and quiet around here, so I was pretty happy about that. And uh, no loud trucks, no noises, <laughs> nothing to wake me up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take all this stuff down. Turn my car on. I watched uh, Death Wish last night with um, 
Bruce Willis Death Wish. It's a really good movie. Highly recommend it. And uh, Hank from uh, Breaking By was in it. That was kind of fun to see him in there. Let's get this party started. Here we go. Get her up to temperature. So now that it's plugged in, it'll start charging when I go driving. And it's getting 82 watts. And uh, I'll be interested to see how long I have to drive before that charges up. I love this. Way to go, Carol. That was awesome. Yeah, cloudy day. A few people around. Food delivery truck. There's probably some employees getting ready. Yeah, it's snowing a little bit. Didn't have time to go for a walk. I called my mom when we were talking for a bit and, uh, then the lady came out and took the pylons away from the front and I asked her about when they're gonna have breakfast because the door does say 6.30 a.m. till 10 p.m. And uh, she said, yeah, we're gonna try and have breakfast uh, by uh, the end of winter. She said, they'll probably have it here in Kitchener by the end of November, uh, by the end of the winter. And so that's pretty cool. So I'll have to come back and do a, a full 24 hour uh, stealth camp with breakfast included. Uh, as of right now, two people, sorry, three people have already gone in. As soon as she took those pylons away, people start coming and a car pulled in. Those people are walking in. Holy schmoly. So it's our turn. I don't know what to do for breakfast. I really don't know what to do at Chick-fil-A when they don't have a breakfast menu. Like the soup sounds like a good idea. Maybe the soup, mac and cheese. I don't know. Hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Can I have an for your order, please? Uh, Ken. Um, can I get that for you again? I think I'm gonna try your chicken soup. Chicken soup, would you like a cup or a bowl? Let's do a, a bowl. Uh, do you have anything else for you today? Uh, and a coffee, black. And I, I guess I'd like to try your um, mac and cheese as well, please. We don't have mac and cheese yet, so we're going to Oh, okay. And then we'll do also do your spicy chicken strips, please. Spicy strips? Yes. All right. Do you, would you like three or four strips? Anything else? Uh, let's do four. Got it. Can I set everything for you today? That's it. Thanks. All right. Enjoy the most nice to see you there. Have a good time. Enjoy. Thank you. So a few of you guys answered my question. Uh, when you're sitting in the queue or the lineup, do you put your car in? Uh, park or do you keep your foot on the brake? Somebody from England said that uh, he just takes his car out of gear but he keeps his foot on the brake which was cool so I love when you guys uh, answer my questions and, and participate in the comments section below. You guys rock. That door that they were using yesterday also when it closes it's just a window so when it's cold when it's really cold they can uh, she's just like leaning out the window um, instead of using the door which it's great to do that because when they're going to be busy in the summertime, I bet they're going to love that door. Happy Fantastic. Great. Thank you. So it's taken a while to cook. Uh, so the car that was in front of me now is they're waiting for food. And I have to pull in beside this person and wait for my food. But it's worth the wait, isn't it? Thank, uh, hello, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm sorry it took so long. Here you oh, go. Oh, wow, thank you. You can get one of those items for free next time. Fantastic. So, because it took them a long time. Got free food. Be our guest. Be our guest. Uh, we got our Chick-fil-A coffee. We got a little bag, assortment of things. Let's tell you what they give you. They give you a spoon for the soup. Uh, they give you a Chick-fil-A sauce, which I asked for. They give you two Zesta 
crackers, napkins, put that in our reserve, and the bill, and it came to $19.52. Let's see how big this soup is. Seems pretty heavy. It is big. It is a big soup. So they have, it sounds like, it sounded like they have two sizes. It sounded like they, she said a cup of soup and then a big Chick-fil-A bowl of soup. And I'm glad I went with the bowl. And then our nuggies, I guess these are strips. She just said, and the four strips, I'm like, spicy? He's like, yep, not good. Cause chicken just tastes better or spicy. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Oh, super crispy chicken. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have you in a minute. You just sit tight. You just sit tight, buddy. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this Chick-fil-A breakfast. Hopefully the other breakfast comes soon. We've got our black coffee, our crispy chicken strips for and look at that soup. It is gonna go down well today on this cold day. We got our Chick-fil-A sauce and our crackers and our spoon. And there it is, a Canadian breakfast at Chick-fil-A. So if you live in the Kitchener, Waterloo area and you frequent this location, uh, please let me know. Send me a DM on my Instagram or something and uh, let me know when they actually have breakfast here. But one, I'm gonna, I, I want all my crackers on. And do you guys break them up before? I do. There we go. Okay, there we go, nice. I don't wanna get any plastic in my food. The coffee was good, by the way. Nice and strong. Way to go, Chick-fil-A. Show the logo. <sighs> yep, nice and strong coffee. All right, let's push all that in. Oh, look at those noodles. Funky, funky noodles. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Oh, super hot on a cold day. Oh, it looks like it's got some uh, carrots. I think, I, I think uh, yeah, it's got some uh, celery, carrots, and of course chicken. Oh my goodness. Breakfast is served. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. Oh, oh, super crunchy. Mm. Now that is a good strip of chicken. Wow. It is, has a nice kick to it. Okay, I'm going to put it into the sauce now, of course. Of course. Mmm. Even better, it's amazing by itself. But this Chick-fil-A sauce just adds that zing. Mm. <laughs> mm. What a way to start the day. Wow, that is beautiful soup, people. Okay, you can scratch it, you can sniff it, but the rest will be mine. Mm. Well, I'm gonna sit back, enjoy this food, and then we'll uh, go for a walk or something. walk I think I just dropped my keys oh don't go any further don't go any further oh my goodness oh that's no it's a good thing about when the sun is out like that it actually has warmed this van up a lot it's definitely a lot warmer in here than it is out there it's minus eight degrees outside the wind chill is currently minus 14 degrees 
So it's minus 14 degrees outside with the wind chill. And uh, so I did a big walk. I guess I can shut this off now. And I did a 52 minute walk and I burned 261 calories. My total steps so far are 5,800 and I walked four and a half kilometers. Uh, so I went, first of all, my mom at Christmas time gave uh, everybody a cash for life. Uh, I guess it's a thousand dollars a week for life lottery ticket and gave one out to every member of the family at Christmas and uh, I won uh, 50 bucks so I uh, found a hasty market and uh, cashed that in and then I kept walking all the way down that end uh, found a mountain equipment co-op called mech and uh, got an idea for my next video I actually saw uh, I think I think Mav did this, so I want to give it a shot too. And uh, we'll wait for one of those really cold nights. And uh, I've got the toe warmers, so these are like peel and stick. So they're in the shape of a toe at, your, at the end of your toes. And then there's a peel off sticker. You can stick it to the top of your toes or the bottom of your of your toes. Yep, 10 pairs, 10 hours. So uh, that's what we need on our, our next big stealth camp. Oh, let me know in the comments below if you like that idea. I think it'll be fun. So it turns out uh, this thing here is to protect the workers because they are doing that thing that uh, a lot of places do down in the States where the uh, workers will come out from here and they'll actually start taking the orders of people in line because again, there's another big lineup and uh, that's how they do it. And I guess there's fans there for the summertime to keep them cool and heaters there as well to keep them warm. I just finished doing three cameos. Uh, they're like personal shout outs. Uh, so if you want to support me and my channel, uh, you can go on Cameo. And if you know somebody who loves uh, my videos and stuff, I can do a personal shout out for you. And the three latest people were Callaway, Carolyn and Tristan. And they just got like a personal little three to five minute vlog of me wishing them a happy birthday or whatever they wanted me to do. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, so let's get going. We gotta get our last meal of the day. We're gonna do that Cobb salad. And uh, before the lineup gets really big, I'm gonna have to hit that defrost. All right, let's get into that lineup and order our food. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? All right, uh, I'm gonna do the Cobb salad. Are you back here for the second time today? Uh, yes. <laughs> Good remembering. Good remembering. Salad? Yeah, the cop salad, the, um, you have like, like that iced coffee. You have iced coffee. Yeah. And uh, a cookie, your chocolate chip cookie. That's the only one you have, right? Is a chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. We have original iced coffee and vanilla iced coffee. Which one would you like? Let's do original, I guess, please. And what dressing would you like for the salad? Any recommendations? The avocado lime ranch is very easy. Oh, avocado lime ranch. Let's do it. Anything else for you today? That's it. Thank you. All right. So I have the cod salad, the original iced coffee, and the cookie. Yes. Your total is $17.80. Visa? Here you go. That's so handy, eh? You're all good. We'll give you a receipt at the window. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. All right, people. Let's park it one last time and enjoy this really cool original iced coffee and cob salad all right ladies and gentlemen we are parked let's do a speed setup are you ready let's go Now we can go in for a close-up. Oh my goodness, our last meal of the day. Look at that. Oh my, the smell of that salad is intoxicating. We've got that original iced coffee over here. We've got that beautiful Cobb salad. Lots of lettuce, tomatoes, chicken, cheese, egg. What else is there? Can you see anything else? Is that bacon? Is that bacon? Yeah, bacon crumble. Uh, corn. Look at those toasty corn pieces, niblets. There's some niblets in there. And of course, look at that. We've got our 
uh, cookie. And we've got crispy bell peppers, crispy red bell peppers. Then over here we got our avocado lime ranch dressing. And uh, we're gonna put that on, give it a shake, start eating. Now somebody explained to that to me long ago uh, when I first started doing like salads on my channel. And they're saying, oh, you're supposed to put it on and then put the lid back on and shake the crap out of it. Um, oh yeah, it's a squeeze pouch thing. Crispy red bell peppers on first. A little close up of that. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I guess they don't put them on because they'll get soggy if you put them on too soon. Wow. Oh yeah. Squeeze it. Squeeze it on. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's going to be good. Look at that. Tell me in the comments below if you've had this salad and which uh, dressing do you prefer? So now we put the lid on it and shake it or not. Uh, unfortunately, there are holes in here and if I shake it, it's gonna go everywhere. So I'm gonna ixnay on the lid A on the shake A. All right, <laughs> that's my pig Latin for today. Oh man, that is so sweet. And I don't mean in the sense that it's really, really good. It's so sweet. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's like a shot of sugar. That was almost as sweet as the uh, the milkshake I had yesterday. Jeez. It's definitely now getting the coffee. I'm not sure. Maybe I, I got the... Um, it's, it's better now that I've done that to it. I must have got like the syrup or whatever they put in there. Shot of that straight to the brain. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> My teeth almost fell out. All right, let's get into this salad. Let's see if we can get some lettuce. Uh, you have to lift it out slowly because you always get that fling of stuff. You can't go wrong with their chicken. The avocado dressing on here, she's right. It's dynamite. Let's see if I can do a scoop. It's hard to uh, stab these uh, little tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes, with a plastic fork. The sun is shining on my salad. Mmm. This is a definite must try. Has there been anything that I've tried here that I didn't like? I don't think so. Are there some things here that are better than the other? Definitely. But everything on this trip, I think I've liked everything. I think those chicken strips were my fave. Spicy chicken strips. Those crispy bell pepper things are give it this thing a nice crunch. So if you've tried all the different salads, let me know. I think this is gonna be their, probably their best salad. It's just to die for. I'm really enjoying this now. That first shot though. Woo. Let's give this cookie a try. That is a huge chocolate chip cookie. Let's see how pliable it is. It's, oh my goodness. It's like just straight out of the oven look, looking, eh? Oh, look at that. It was almost a chocolate pull. Chocolate pull. Look how chocolatey that is in there. There's hardly any cookie. It's all chocolate. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells like a bakery. Mmm. Crispy on the outside. Soft and chewy in the middle. Oh, that's good. That is very, very good. I'm definitely going to be adding this to my dessert menus whenever I uh, come to Chick-fil-A. Mmm. That's a phenomenal cookie. 
All right, guys, before I polish the rest of this off, I just wanna thank you all for hanging out with me for the last 24 hours at Chick-fil-A in Kitchener, Ontario. Uh, it was fantastic, I had a great night's sleep, ate a lot of amazing food, and uh, kept as warm as I could, watched a good movie, and I uh, couldn't ask for anything better. I'm doing the stealth camp and hanging with you. Once again, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for hanging out, watching my videos. Uh, leaving a comment, clicking that thumbs up, you guys are amazing. And of course, all my channel members for hanging out with me every single month and supporting this channel. And of course, all my supporters over on Patreon, you guys rock. If you wanna show your amazing support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I put down over there and we'll see you over there, bring your hunger.